Hello, hello, guys, and welcome back to Cat Dog Pig Duck plays Feed the Beast Horizons. How you doing? So, guys, um, I already said welcome back, so I won't say it again. I have a tendency to say it twice. And now I'm saying something about saying it twice, so we're just wasting even more time. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, I just want to show you one thing here real quick, and then we'll begin on with the episode. Last episode... We um, investigated the nether crops that are in Ganny's nether. So I went, sit, went ahead and s built a little farm here. I'm not sure what's going on because this wood golem does not look like he's picking up anything. But these golems do actually harvest the crops. Um, when I did my test last time, let's see. Okay, there he goes. All right. He, he does not like these cobblestone walls for whatever reason go figure okay I'm a little frustrated with these uh, gathering golems apparently their pathfinding is terrible like literally he was confused by this uh, obsidian block here and the reason I put this obsidian block down was so that I could cover up the lava uh, and plus obsidian looks hella cool with this red but uh, you know how uh, we had them in inside earlier um, and I didn't want to put lava inside, but lava actually changes the netherrack to, like, tilled, fertilized netherrack. So, instead of water, look at him. He's just hopping up and down. He's, he's about freaking useless. Okay. Wow. But anyway, um, the nether crop is doing well. It's now automated with these happy little golems, and eventually... Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Um, I'm going to get this piped into our house. Just like the tree farm is... And that farm down there, which is all kinds of stuff. But, um, yeah, things are looking good. Um, apparently, a lot of updates have happened. And I don't want to hit this with a axe, because that will destroy these. Oop, I didn't mean to do that either. So, Jabba Barrel's got an update as well. And it's, it's a lot more complicated now. I think I'm going to do an episode later where I show you how to update these things. But, um, basically, it's kind of like a tiered system. Let's see if I could just pull it up here real quick. At Java. Let's see here. So yeah, there it's it's a lot of stuff is now out of work in progress. And it has all kinds of weird upgrades. Apparently you buy like storage upgrade slots. And each one of these upgrades affords you different slot allotments. 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 That's a word. So yeah, if you have this diamond upgrade on it, and you can only put the diamond upgrade on it if it has the gold, the iron, and the wood already in it, it gives you 15 slots to put these upgrades on. So like you could put this hopper upgrade, which is one. You could put the storage upgrade, which is like three, nine, and 27. I don't even know how you get up to 27. Wow, look at this one. The emerald upgrade is 127 slots. That is a lot. A lot. And there's a couple things here that I have no idea what they do. Like, beast space upgrade turns barrel into a beast space barrel. Well, that's almost helpful if I knew what that meant. And redstone upgrade. I guess maybe... Oh, okay. It says what it does right there. Allows barrel to emit redstone. But when? Uh, apparently there's a new updated dolly. There's the regular dolly. And I guess this one maybe picks it up with all its upgrades on it. And there's something called a hammer. So I'd imagine that's just like, um, oh, look, they have different things. Okay, we're going to figure this out later. <laughs> Getting obsessed with barrels again. Man, there's so many upgrades to this mod pack. It's amazing. I'm in love with it. Okay, cool. So yeah, we covered the crops. And what I was going to do, what the, the main reason I was going to do this episode was I was going to make, let's see, do I have my Thaumonomicon on me? I do. Um, I wanted to make one of these, and you'll remember in the past, in a past episode, um, I used to put watering cans in, here we go, lamp of growth, that's what I'm looking for. I used to put watering cans in, above my crops outside, uh, using the autonomous activator. So, like, right above here, I had, like, an autonomous activator, and it had a watering can, and it was watering these crops, and... That was amazing. It was too productive because apparently they had to nerf it. And we knew they were. They, they kind of had to nerf it. It was insane how good it was. 
So um, what happens is, is if you put a watering can in an autonomous activator now, it basically breaks it. So you get a broken water can. It's like it slaps you on the wrist. It says, no, don't do that. So anyway, the way we're going to combat that was by making one of these lamps of growth. They're not too hard to make. Um, yeah. So what I was doing was trying to get everything ready to down here to make the lamp of growth and plus the uh, Essentia system that I'm going to need for it. So I got most of it. I was looking into making another arcane amblic and I was getting halfway through it, but then I realized everything I need to build this stuff is in my applied energistics system, which is up here. And I was like, wouldn't it be nice if I had this, had this down there? And then I was thinking, like, okay, I'll run a cable all through my walls, all the way down here, and set up a crafting terminal right here next to my Thomcraft system. But I think there's a better way to do it. So we're going to test something. I've never done this before. We're going to eat this delicious carrot. That's what I've never done before. Yum, 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 yum. We did it. All right. Episode over. Nope, that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is try to make a wireless access point. So let's look this up applied here we go so I think I need to make this thing called a wireless access point obviously so it doesn't look too complex it's iron glass ME cable and the only thing I don't have is this wireless receiver so let's see if we can make this it takes a fluex crystal which is all that junk let's see if we can make this let's go into our crafting terminal and let's get to it so let's type in wireless and that should pop right up. So what we need to make is a Fluix Pearl. Let's try shift clicking it in. And apparently we can just make it. Very good. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. So anyway, we didn't have to make this dust on camera. That's fun. Um, so yeah, let's make this access point now. So if I just shift click and then throw... Oh wait, we got to make the thing first. So let's X that out. We have to make one of these, a wireless receiver. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's throw a Fluix Pearl in there. We got it. Throw it back in our system so that we have it. And then let's try clicking this guy in. And boom. Okay. Cool. So I want to put it, for the meantime, I want to put it right here. But I'm imagining this is like a Wi-Fi antenna in your house. So, you know, it'll, it'll broadcast a Wi-Fi signal to a wireless terminal from a certain distance. But I've got a big house, so we might have to do some tests on this to see what it does. This doesn't look the prettiest to me as well, so I might actually, I don't know, I might try to find a hide it somewhere. I really liked my three block setup here. I thought that looked nice, but now it's got the Eye of Sauron on top staring us down. So um, I'm imagining, let's actually, let's look at the controller and see what it's doing. Okay, that's fine. It only took takes one more AE a tick. That's cool. So let's type in terminal. I think that's the right thing. Terminal. So I want to make one of these guys, an ME wireless access terminal. That's a lot of words. Um, so let's click it and see what it takes. Ooh, we need to make an access terminal, obviously. And we need to make an energy cell. Ooh, let's see if we can just go ahead and click this in. Man, these are kind of complex recipes. Hopefully I got enough junk. Let's do, let's just type in wireless. All right, here's all the cool stuff. Click that in. Let's go ahead and make one of these. Oh, I need to make Fluex pearls, don't I? Let's see. I think let's make two of them just because. I have no idea why. All right, so we got two of those. Let's go back to the recipe. So we can go ahead and make this. There we go. We'll throw that in our AE system so we can use it later. Let's click this again. Energy cell. This one might be tricky. Can I click that in? I can click that in. All right. This is going good. I love this little system. It makes crafting a lot easier. And I might have all the stuff for this. I do. Goodness gracious. Very cool. So let's try clicking this guy in. We got it. Now, do I have to charge this up? Let's see. Okay. You'd think I just put it in here, but what about here? Is there anywhere to put stuff in here? Oh, let's try this. Um, here it is. Look, 
Ah, that did it. And it's linked. Okay, very cool. So I've got a linked access terminal now, but how do I charge this guy up? Do I just put him in here? Huh. Can I click him? No power. But how do I power it? Um, I have no idea how to power this thing. Should, can I put it in here? No, this doesn't allow for it. Ha! Huh. I wonder how I power this guy up. There's nowhere to put it here, right? Unless I can just put it there. And is it going to power up at all? No, not powering up there. You would think because there's a slot here that something goes here. Do you go there, friend? It does not go there. What about here? No. What about here? What happens if I put it like here? It won't. It's not having that either. Let's see if there's something in the ME or Applied Energistic System that says power. Um, let's see. At Applied. All right. Well, maybe these energy cells? Yeah, maybe this would do it. Um, let's see, wireless. You would think the wireless access point would power this thing up, but it's so confusing. It's so confusing! Crafting CPU, heat vent. No, none of this is it. Do, do, do. Condenser, that's not it. Quantum field ring, I doubt it. Um, so yeah, let's try making one of these energy cells, right? We made one before, so let's try it again. Energy cell. There you are. You're an energy cell, and you're an energy cell. I wonder which one's better. Oh, this is a charged one. Okay. Can we just click in? We sure can. Holy moly. So let's try maybe just putting that there. Whoa. Did it do anything? No, it didn't do nothing. Can I... How do I charge you, friend? Okay, guys, I'm going to have to pause it here because this is not obvious, right? You'd think i just put it in here, or maybe I can whack it in. I'm shift-clicking on it. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, I know it doesn't have power. How do I charge it? Game, you are not obvious enough for me. I am a dummy. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to pause it right here and see if I can figure this guy out. Jeez Louise. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, apparently, I have to make something called an ME power relay. Okay, sure, why not? I've already got an energy cell, so let's dump that in there. Get out of my inventory. Crap. All right, let's see here. Let's type in power relay. There we go. Okay, I should be able to make this. There we go, power relay. Hopefully, this will do the business for me. Again, I would like to make this a little bit pretty, so maybe I put it underneath or something, but for now, oh, I'm so conflicted. I, I like the way this looks, and I don't want to add anything to it, so maybe, yeah, let's dump it back here. Perfect. Actually, we can dump it. We can conceal it any more, even more by putting it right there. Oh, I love that. Okay. So, like that. Okay, it's charging up. Very cool. So, cool. We'll test this guy out in a minute, and... Oh, look at it. It's all unpowered. Oh, because it's charging up my power relay. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. These are my nether shrubs that I planted. They are taking forever to grow. And honestly, considering that they produced uh, they produced nether shrubs, yeah, they should take a while. But look how smoky they are. They're kind of cool. I'm not sure why this one is growing infinitely slower than these guys, but maybe when we make this... Uh, lamp of growth we could put one here and it'll help these guys out too and then we'll have nether skulls coming out of our butt okay this guy charged up enough for me let's take a look so if i click this what do i get <gasps> that's my inventory can i pull stuff out of it i sure can holy crap it's it's magic all right let's see how far we can go can i do it here yes i can it's magic can i put stuff back in i sure can holy moly Let's put this stuff back in. Get out of my inventory, thingies. Oh, wow. All right, let's go in here. Not that we do a lot in here, but let's test this out. Nope, this is too far. 
Let's see. Nope, that's too far. That's too far. That's too far. And right there. Okay, so this is the breaking point, is this little hallway here. But I bet I could run a cable and have another wireless access point over here. So if I ever find myself starting to do stuff in here, then I'll be fine. Let's test out our witch area. That's definitely going to be too far away, I think. Like down here, it would be great maybe to pull out things that I'm missing. Nope, too far. What about right here? Right here? Right here? No. Doesn't like that either. So, anyway, the range on it isn't great, but for doing stuff around the house, it's perfect. Okay, what about here? Okay, I can do it here. How about here? That, that's fine. <laughs> what about here? Okay, so it's got a pretty good range. It's not the best range I've ever seen. But cool. So now, in the next episode, when we make our lamp of growth and figure out a way to get these crops moving their butts, we will have... We will have... We could actually use it right here, right? Yeah. Oh, that's hot. I could even use it in my owl sanctuary, right? Nope. Can't use it in owl sanctuary. My Wi-Fi doesn't go that far, guys. Holy moly. <laughs> Well, anyway, I think that's a good wrapping up point. We've got some nice music playing. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll wrap this up right here, guys. It was great. As always, it was great seeing you handsome and gorgeous people. If you liked the video, give me a big old thumbs up. I like that. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Do it. Hooray! And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye.